rise of a corporate empire in Vietnam. Vingroup, one of the biggest private companies in Asia, has dozens of subsidiaries, including VinSmart, VinFast, and Vin School will explain. The company made its name in real estate, then expanded into other avenues like supermarkets, amusement parks, education, healthcare, and as I just mentioned there, now smartphones and cars. Wow. Joining us now, I'm pleased to say, Vin Group Vice Chairman Tui Leg. Miss Tui, great to have you on the show with us. So thank you so much for joining us. For viewers that might not understand what Vin Group is outside of Vietnam, just explain what the, the ethos of the company is and just how you've expanded to so many areas. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, well, um, um, when you think about Vin Group, uh, the few words come to my mind. Uh, uh, our tagline is forever startup. So every day we live a life of a startup, um, and uh, uh, we try our best to um, uh, to survive that day. Uh, we uh, we promote um, being effective and, and speedy, uh, and uh, we all about result oriented. Um, uh, Vin Group is a very dynamic and demanding organization. Uh, on all the in employees, um, and uh, we also, uh, above all, we also promote the Vietnamese um, culture and, and spirit within our group. Um, but at the same time, we also we started becoming international and started having uh, a lot more and more uh, international uh, employees supporting um, us in the workforce as well. Mm -hmm from Vin Group, I think, is an evolution from sort of traditional businesses that I mentioned, like tourism, real estate, to far higher tech, the work that you're doing with smartphones, with cars, for example, too. Again, it feels like the ethos of the company comes back to some modernization push as well in Vietnam and beyond. Yeah, we, um, our... Uh... Uh, our our uh, mission is for a better life of the Vietnamese people. So everything that we do is um, is for that purpose. Uh, we build um, uh, we build um, residential development to make a, to to give the uh, people not just a better homes, but give them a better lifestyle. We um, uh, we build modern shopping malls. Uh, we build a school. <clears throat> um, um, hospitals. Uh, we um, modernize the agriculture in Vietnam, uh, and most recently, as you already mentioned, we um, uh, we started our car company less than three years ago, VinFast, uh, and our cars already on the street in Vietnam, uh, becoming um, uh, two of our three cars. We uh, have become recently the best-selling cars in Vietnam in June, um, surpassing every all, all the other um, car models in Vietnam. And um, we also just um, over a year ago we started getting into smartphone, and we are making smartphones and IoT products and uh, many other um, technology-related uh, products. I mean, this is astonishing. In, in the space of two to three years, suddenly going from getting into a business and actually having cars and phones um, on the market here. I know you're eyeing uh, expansion opportunities, as you mentioned, internationally as well. Talk about your ambitions here in the United States, because I know you see this as a potential market for, for Ving Group products. Yeah, we um, we we're very focused about our um, international expansion. So, uh, um, outside of Vietnam, we um, uh, we uh, we would like to expand into the U.S. and focus all our resources in the U.S. before um, before we um, we expand to other countries. So, um, so we're preparing for VinFast and and VinSmart to to be in the U.S. Uh, pretty soon. Can you give me a sense of how soon? Um, Vin smartphone uh, very soon this year, and uh, wow. Vin fast cars uh, next year. Wow, I mean, this is pretty incredible. Okay, I want to talk about what's happened in light of the pandemic that we've seen. I mean, our viewers are, are well aware that Vietnam's handling of this is has been very different compared to what we've seen in the West, but clearly you have tourism assets, you have parts of the business that surely have been pretty severely impacted. Can you give us a sense of that? Um, as you, you might have seen that Vietnam has um, handled the situation pretty well from, mm. from day one, even though we're next to China and we're very, uh, probably very first, um, one of the very first countries that had 
uh, people coming from uh, from from China with um, COVID. Uh, so far, we still have a clean record, so no death uh, from COVID in in Vietnam yet. Um, uh, our our group uh, having more than fifty thousand employees all over the country, and you know. Um, Suffering through the lockdown, obviously we were impacted by uh, by by the pandemic. Um, however, we um, um, we actually from we the one of the very first uh, organization in the country to uh, <clears throat> to let people uh, work from home and uh, um, basically segregate our uh, our employees into different groups and um, you know people that don't need to serve customers. Um, um, uh, were allowed to stay uh, to work from home, and we um, started promoting um, like more working working from home. But there, there were people in our workforce um, that had to be in touch with the um, uh, with the customers. So we um, um, we have like, special allowances for for people that you know like high risk people, that people that had to to face the. The customers on daily basis, uh, we we give them additional allowance for um, you know for being in the risk uh, group, and then we have the medium uh, risk group with a little bit lower uh, allowance, and a lot. I mean, um, by now we, we we get back to normal, and uh, all the business units um, know that they have to um, at least uh, reach their target or even um, or. You know, um, have to surpass the uh, the target that they set out at the beginning of the year, but the uh, the pandemic brought um, um, some very memorable experiences for us. Like for example, at Vinfast, where some of the expatriates, uh, like some some expatriates, um, uh, came to our chairman and said that you know uh, we don't want to take um, uh, you know the company is suffering, we don't want to take um, salary, you know, just we we're willing to take some pay cut. Um, so our, our chairman said um, uh, he, I mean, he's very touched by the um, by the gesture. But uh, uh, we vow to keep all our employees on the payroll, even though uh, we stay at home for like a month and a half, almost two months. Uh, and um, we, um, our chairman said, because uh, all these uh, all our employees have family, they still have to support families, even though other businesses um, uh, in, in the country or elsewhere shut down or cut the uh, uh, salary, um, we, we don't do it. We uh, we still make sure that the employees are fully paid, and we still make sure that we, we support the employees. And um, that proved to be um, incredibly important uh, to, to yield a good result for us. And you know, we get a lot of loyalty from the people after that. Which is essential. I mean, many businesses around the world would love to do the same. Um, Ms. Tui, I do want to ask you, if, if there's any criticism of, of Ving Group that I've read as I've been sort of investigating and trying to understand the company, it's it comes to sustainability and how green the company is as it expands. And I know it's a challenge perhaps in Vietnam, but it's a different story and the focus is different when you are trying to enter a, a, a country like the United States, for example. What's your stance on sustainability? What's the plan? Uh, at Vin Group, we in the past, um, I would say two or three years, we started focusing a lot more efforts on uh, on green policy. Um, uh, part of it is be, uh, is being responsible because we are the biggest um, uh, business group in, in Vietnam. So being responsible uh, responsible to the country and responsible to uh, to the world as a whole. Uh, but also for for us, especially for me, being a CEO of Binsmart, right? I I know that I cannot get uh, our products into like EU or the US if we don't have a, a clear green policy. So we started implementing a, a green policy um, within within Binsmart, but within Vin Group um, um, in the past few years. Um, Vin Group is one of the founding member of the National Plastic Action Plan, which is a a program uh, by uh, World, Economic, uh, World Economic Forum. So we we one of the founding members in in, in Vietnam, and we're leading that effort in in Vietnam. Uh, within all different uh, groups of, um, of, uh, of uh, all different businesses within Vin Group, we also implemented uh, various actions uh, written in our policy to um, to protect the environment and uh, um, to reduce. Um, uh, the impact on the environment. Like, uh, give you a specific example of uh, of Vin Smart, uh, my business. They uh, we have reduced the the use of plastic by uh, eleven by two by two percent. 
uh, from the beginning of the year, and the target is by 20 percent by the end by the end of the year, despite the pandemic. Wow. And um, in addition to to the actions uh, to preserve the environment, we also, you know, we're looking to invest into like renewable energy. So we're working with one of the big international partners right now on um, on LNG um, power plant, and then we're looking at a few other um, uh, like uh, uh, solar. Ms. Um, Troy, I'm going to have to stop you there because I, I have to go to a break now. But it's been fascinating to, uh, to talk to you. We will continue the conversation because I have plenty more questions, I promise you. And I know I've stolen you from your, uh, your birthday party, I believe, as well. So we will let you get back to that. And happy birthday for next week. Great to chat to you, the chairwoman. Of Thank, the you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.